Hey guys, so I decided to make a really quick video to show people um, how I move through Zoom in case you haven't been to any of the meetings or maybe you have been to the meetings but you want to see exactly how I click through. Um, so this is my Zoom screen. At the bottom right here you'll see share screen. Um, I click on that. You have different options, screen, whiteboard. Whiteboard will make everything white so you could, the kids can, well the mock panel, can do practice problems if you'd like. There are also different tabs that you could choose from. Um, the difference between these tabs and screen would be if you click screen and then click share, then you will have a green box around your entire desktop, which means that um, whoever you're sharing the screen with is able to see your desktop, the tab, and you know, and all the internet open and everything. Or um, some people prefer. I'm going to stop share. Some people prefer to screen share only the lesson. So then um, you would need to have your lesson already open so you know which tab to pick. Uh, I would click that one. That's where my lesson is. And then I would click share. And now there's a green box only around, you know, my the options you know, in my internet, these tabs and uh, my lesson showing. Now, even this, I personally wouldn't prefer just because I don't like to show so many tabs at the top. So what I do is I stop share. I get my I would get my lesson tab out so it's all on its own. And then when I go click share screen, I still go back to my lesson. That's the one that I want. But now I know that I've taken it out on its own. So when I click share this, I'll make it bigger. This is all that the person I'm screen sharing can see. Um, and then of course you can either click present and then it will take up your entire screen. You can click through. Annotate is what you would need to draw and click through the slides. Um, I hover over your screen sharing, annotate, and then I have a choice to have a mouse to click through, draw to draw on the screen, or clear to clear everything. If you do not want it to take up your entire screen, let me stop share. Oh no, I mean X out. Then instead of clicking, instead of clicking only present, I would click this drop down instead. And then that will give me presenter view. And that way, when I make this back smaller, and I'll make this out of the way, um, the people, can only whoever's looking at your screen again they can only see whatever's in the box it's still nice and big which is how we need it however for your purposes now you're able to make your lesson you know on your end smaller and you can use this side this presenter notes side for pacing purposes or you could have a word document or sticky notes on the side if it would help you you know um, remember your questions and such throughout the lesson um, and yeah, and then you click through, you do your lesson, stop share when you're all done, and that's it. If you have any questions, go ahead and reach out. Bye.